So we're really grateful to the General Experimental Biology um, for accepting our paper and because of the read and publish agreement in place, we didn't have to pay any publishing fees, um, which was just absolutely fantastic and it enabled us to be able to get our, our work out in the Journal of Experimental Biology. The open access, it just means everything. So it's open for everyone, either our peers, uh, public uh, project stakeholders. So it makes our, our, uh, our science uh, reach a broader level. It's, uh, well, it's open and uh, accessible to everyone. This new drive for open access, I think, is like a very positive thing, uh, stopping research being hidden from people. I do think it's particularly helpful for early career researchers to do that because it helps establish, you know, the techniques you use, the research you're doing. Being able to publish open access uh, and for free is a really good achievement, at least for me, that uh, I work in a third world country and usually we are restricted to access uh, to many different journals and, and research. So that's really nice to to be able to publish for free and open access to bring our research to everyone. It's really nice to know that my article, which is open access, will be freely available to anyone that wants that information. Well, I think it's fantastic for authors. It means that immediately you publish your work, it's, it's accessible to um, everyone. And as a reader, it means you have access to that content, whether you're um, accessing it from your institution or from home or when you're traveling. So it just makes uh, the work much more available, much more freely available, and immediately it's, it's published.